Okay. Mitchell, what did you take out of the game personally and what do you think Australia took out of it? I think it was a good game to get what we wanted in terms of time to the crease. Um, for some of us, uh, overs under the belt in the middle as opposed to in the nets, I guess, as well. So um, I think it was a, a good three days or two and a half if you take away the rain. But um, yeah, it was, it was good to get some competitive time in the middle for a, a lot of us who haven't had too much of that, I guess. And yourself, how, were you happy with the way you, you bowled? Yeah, pretty happy with how the ball came out. Um, it's good to see the ball swing for, for all of us for, I guess, the 95 overs who were out there. So, um, yeah, it was just, um, can't complain with how it came out. Did you see it as a bit of a selection trial out there with, with Pato having, go, he's going home obviously injured, mate. Is it still a trial for the pace man? Oh, I guess it's just another another game for us to, to represent Australia and, and try and take a few first class wickets. So, um, you know, we certainly weren't taking it as a bowl off. It was just to go out there and perform and, um, I guess take that, that uh, I guess those, that thought of um, pushing selection out of, out of the, the picture and just, just trying to take wickets. What do you feel you'll bring to the side if you're selected for interest? Oh, I've got that point of difference with the left arm, so um, look, whichever way they go, I'm not sure I'm not a selector, so thankfully I don't have to worry about that. But um, like I said, yeah, you just do what you can to take wickets and, and perform in the game and, and let the, the selections take care of themselves. You missed out at the, the MCG last summer. And, you, and you've been left out at Lords as well, like two really marquee games, I suppose. How did you feel about this latest one, being left out at Lords? Look, you, you never want to miss a game at all, so um, yeah, it's, it's always always a little bit disappointing to miss out in any game of cricket, but um, look, it was, it was my turn to miss out, I guess, and, and like I said, I just have to do all I can to, to get myself ready and, and push for selection in the next, te next test. Did you, what did you sort of learn or take out of Trent Bridge? To be honest, I was, I was pretty happy with the ball came out, with how the ball came out, and um, you know got that reverse swing it was it was a very slow and um, I guess it wasn't too friendly to the bowlers. So um, I think as a bowling unit, we were pretty happy to take the 20 wickets. And um, yeah, look, looking back on that Test match, I, I was pretty pretty happy with how, how I had the ball coming out. Was it, did you find it a pretty tough call? You got five wickets in a game where the conditions didn't suit you, and then you're watching it Lords. <laughs> Like I said, I don't select the team, so um, something that I can't control. I've just got to get myself ready for the game of cricket coming up. And um, look, I was pretty happy with how the ball came again, out again in this game. So a um, couple of days of preparation in, in Manchester, and, and hopefully I can do enough to, to get back in that team. The ball seems to swing a long, a long way. It goes late and it goes a long way. How, how hard is it to control it when, it, when it's doing that? We were actually surprised with how much it did swing here for, for Birdie myself and even for James Faulkner. So, um, it, it definitely swung more here than it has the last few times we've had the, the Duke. So uh, it was a little bit tougher to control, but um, once you get a, f a few overs of that under your belt and, and adjust your lines, it's um, you know you, you should be hitting that target. So, uh, but yeah, at the same time, it was nice to have that ball swinging for for the hundred overs and, and keep the ball in a nice nice condition. So that's a, a definitely a positive for us. Do you, do you change your length as well because of it? I think our lengths were very good this game. Um, our lines were probably too much two sides of the wicket for if we want to be very critical for, for too much of this game. But um, overall, I think our lines were oh, sorry, our lengths were, were very good from from the quicks. What was it like bowling to James Taylor today against I've played against him before, so um, look, he's someone who likes to cut and pull. So he's only a very small guy, so we want to make him make sure we got him driving. But um, you know, he played well. It's a good batting wicket, but um, he did play well. And how do you have to adjust based on his stature? Oh, it's not too hard to adjust, just bowl a little bit fuller. Would you like to bowl against him in a test match? Probably yes. <laughs> <laughs> Try and hit him again, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, he's a good player. He's, he's, uh, I think he's scored a few runs. So, But he's obviously played test, test cricket before and um, another player, if he does get the chance to play, um, we'll have to assess him again, but it's nice to have a look at him um, with how he's going at the moment in, in this game. You both seem to be able to on a pretty regular basis, knock the top off orders and then not be able to continue to make inroads. I think it sort of happened again here. You got I think two, three for 28, three for 30 at, uh, at Lords. What is it about the next phase of the game that you guys have got to do better? I think we had the chance to, to do that and hold a few chances, um, which probably cost us in getting through that, that middle order in this game. So um, I guess if we want to be very critical, that that's um, definitely cost us with, with uh, bowling them out in this game. But. Um, yeah, I guess it, as the ball starts to swing less in, in the dry wickets that we've had in the test matches, um, that little period where I guess the, the natural swing dies down and you start to get the ball to go reverse and, and we probably have to be a little bit tighter and, and make sure we, we shut that scoreboard down. But um, yeah, it's definitely, definitely helps when you hold your chances.